off, I'd like to thank Father Hermes for allowing me to speak this evening. When he first asked me to give a speech, I was a bit reluctant until he told me it would be about my father, Brian Patterson. At that point, I knew this was an opportunity I could not pass up. At Jesuit, one of the most important things they stress to us as students is being a man for others. They want their students to grow intellectually and spiritually to become leaders in the community, not only in their line of work, but in giving back to their fellow man. We are all required to do a certain number of service hours each year, and by the time we graduate, we should have completed 150 hours of service. However, most students tend to go above and beyond these requirements because they do not view doing service as something they have to do, but something they want to do and enjoy doing. But even before I got to Jesuit, I had already learned what it was to be a man for others. My father has always exemplified the qualities and traits of what it truly means to be a man for others. A man for others is someone who is always doing something, not for himself, but for someone else. Ever since I was born, I have rarely ever witnessed my dad doing something strictly for himself. He is always either helping out a family member, one of his children, working on something on the list of things my mom gave him to do, or simply helping someone who needed help. My father is one of the most supportive fathers a kid could ask for. He has always been there to help, guide, and push me to reach my goals in all of my endeavors, from sports to academics. He doesn't motivate by screaming or nagging me to do things or to get my grades up. He simply leaves that job for my mom. He has the common force behind me, encouraging me to do whatever I set my mind to, and trying to give me any type of guidance and advice that he can. My dad is one of those parents who will do anything for his children. Throughout my four years at Jesuit, he never missed a single football game, no matter what he had to do or where he was earlier that day. So I never had to wonder if he was going to be in the stands that night. Most of the time, he was either he was there early, helping set up in the concession stand and filling up the coolers with Gatorade for all of us to drink after the game. My dad has always tried to instill in his kids the value of hard work. To him, there is nothing more crucial to accomplishing your goals. He always tells us, nothing in life comes easy. He can attest to this from his own life. He grew up in a very small town in North Georgia where he spent most of his childhood helping his family on the farm, carrying bales of hay or feeding animals, doing anything he had to do. He worked his way through college in order to pay for school, but he was able to do it and graduated from one of the best building construction programs in the nation at Auburn University. This clearly was not easy, but he was able to do it. Hard work has allowed my dad to hold the job he does today as a senior project manager at Burrell Electric. Even with his extremely busy schedule, my dad still spends most of his time helping other people, whether it be my Abuela with the various things he needs to do around the house, a neighbor who needs help fixing something, or anyone who asks him for help. Just last weekend, I walked outside, only to find my father over at my neighbor's house to help him fix the gate to his house. This is so typical. I'm sure my father would rather be spending his weekends relaxing from his hectic work week by golfing or clay shooting, but instead he chooses to spend his free time helping other people because that is just the type of man he is, a true man for others. Dad, I want to thank you for all of your support and love throughout my life and showing me what it truly means to be a man for others. I love you.